Now guys, before we get started, I thought that I would point out that I have put chapters in every single important section of this video so that you can bounce back and forth between them and make sure that you have followed this process correctly. I also ask that you watch this video in its entirety because there are some troubleshooting issues which other viewers have had in the past and I will show you how to fix them. So guys, please sit back and enjoy. Hello everybody, how are we all doing? Today I'm going to be showing you how to install the FUS mod list pack. So that's going to be done through Webjack and that is the fundamentals, upgrades and stuff mod pack for Skyrim VR. Because as we know, Skyrim VR is a steaming pile of horseshit straight out of the bag. But with this mod pack, it'll install hundreds of mods with the click of one button and uh, it'll completely transform your experience and uh, make it a really mind-blowing experience. So uh, first, we're going to show a little bit of a demonstration of what you get with the mod pack, and then we're going to go straight into how to do it. So sit back and enjoy. This mod pack adds ease of life changes. It adds combat changes. It adds mechanics. It adds all kinds of things, but mostly what I like, it changes the beauty of this game. Now guys, if you want to go straight to the tutorial, it's no problem. Just click on this timestamp right here. Otherwise, sit back and enjoy. This is a demonstration of how beautiful the FUS pack makes Skyrim. All of the environments have been completely overhauled as you saw from the previous clip, but also the thunderstorms are absolutely enthralling and the night times can be pitch black or they can be full of auroras. I think it's stunning. Uh, check this guy. He's got his shield up to uh, protect himself from the rain. I thought that was pretty cool. I, I don't know if that's a mod or if that's in the main game, but hey, check it out. And as to be expected, all of the towns have been completely overhauled, including all of the interiors and a whole bunch of other beautiful mods, which have made all of the towns look very unique and very interesting. I quite like it. And that's not mentioning all of the texture reshades. So this was a new one for me. Enemies now have levels on them. It's almost like an MMO. So you kind of know what you're up against. I think that's pretty cool. But you know what? That's enough talking. Let's get into the guide. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is go over to your root directory where the game is installed and make a folder called Wabberjack Fuss. And inside that folder, you're going to make another folder called Wabberjack and another folder called Fuss. And you're going to see why now. Once you've done that, go over to wabberjack.org. All links will be in the descriptions. Make sure you download Wabberjack because we're going to need it in order to download the first mod pack. Now guys, we're going to drag Wabberjack installer straight into the Wabberjack folder in Wabberjack first. So once we've done that, we're going to go and run the application and that's going to install Wabberjack for us. It'll download it from the main server and it will install it. Now, once installed, it will automatically run so we can go ahead and maximize this folder and we're going to choose browse mod lists. Now, as you can see, FUS is right there, top and center, because it is such a popular mod pack. We can have a look around. As you can see, there are a lot of mod packs for a lot of other games. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and run this mod pack. Now, one thing I do like about this mod list is that it will open up the GitHub and there you can see the readme, you can see further information and you can also see other fundamentals, updates and stuff, mod packs. I know that there is a beta coming out soon or is already out. I'll be definitely checking that out. However, if you want to see the source code and you want to see what mods are going to be installed, this is the place to do it. Now guys, while we are on this page, I should mention if you select FUS, go over to code, you'll see a downloadable zip. And in that downloadable zip, you will get all kinds of information such as key bindings, mod lists, all sorts in image form. It's all there, it's all downloadable, and it's all accessible. I think this is pretty clever stuff. 
Now we're going to head over to Webberjack, which was just sitting in our background. And as you can see, the target mod list is already selected because we selected it through Webberjack. Now the mod list installation location needs to be the FUS folder, which we made earlier, and it'll automatically make a downloads folder. Now we can start the download process and it's going to download every single mod and install it with one click. Now guys, it is worth noting that you do need Nexus Premium in order to download this very quickly or else you will have to actually download the mods individually. It will still be doable, but I highly recommend getting Nexus Premium. You can even pay for it for one month just to install this mod pack. Now guys, onto a little bit of troubleshooting. This is a very common issue where you'll have the install fail. What you need to do is go into the options of Webberjack, log out of your Nexus profile, and then close Webberjack. And then what you need to do is reopen Webberjack, log back into your Nexus profile, and push play again. Having looked at some of the comments in my previous videos, I can see that this is quite a common occurrence, but if you follow these instructions, log out, log back in, it should fix the problem. All right, guys, so we have successfully installed FUS onto Skyrim VR. We're going to close Webberjack and we're going to head straight over to our FUS folder, which, if you remember correctly, we stuck that in the root directory where Skyrim is installed. And inside that folder, you will see an application called Mod Organizer. We're going to open that. Now, once opened, you will be greeted with a lot of information, but fear not, it's all in the right place and it is all going to work. Now, what I highly recommend you do is go into the options section at the top and log into your Nexus profile, and that will allow this application to update any out of date mods and just make the game run faster. Notice it says first launch takes a few minutes. Don't worry, that's normal. That's just because the mods will be propagating on their first installation and on their first run. Now guys, this next bit is very important, so please do pay attention. The first thing we are going to do is we're going to head over to Steam and run Steam VR. We're obviously going to do that once our VR headset is connected to our computer via Link or via AirLink or however it is you do it. That's up to you. But it's very important that you run Steam VR first or else this process will not work and Steam will crash. Once you've done that, you can go straight over to our directory, back to FUS. You can even make a shortcut on your desktop if you want. That's completely up to you. But we're going to run Mod Organizer. Now with Steam VR running and Mod Organizer running, we can select Play FUS and we can push the Run button. And that is it, guys. You have an amazing experience coming right up. Now, one thing to bear in mind, that little notification there is not an error code. It's just telling you that your mod organizer is locked and that's to stop any issues arising from files being changed during gameplay. Now you're going to see a black screen. Don't worry. That's normal. That's going to take a little while for it to propagate. But if you look down, you're actually going to see the, uh, the, the logo for, uh, for Skyrim. Now guys, as always, I do this for the modding community, so I would really appreciate it if you could take the time to subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of content very similar to this, and later on I will be making a comparison between FUS and between Mad Gods mod pack, as I have both of them installed currently. As well as that, check out my Discord. Links to all the downloads and links to my Discord will be in the description of this video. Guys, thank you for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.